Okay, so now that we have cars on the road going on the same side and cars waiting on one side, we're going to talk about the hardest part of this assignment, which is cars waiting on both sides. Okay, so first, let's think about when should a car not be allowed to enter a road. When should a car not, not enter the road? Well, we've talked about first if there is a car in the first position, right, that position is blocked and so only one car can occupy a single position. There's a car in the first position. So if there's a car there, a car shouldn't be allowed to enter, right, because it would crash. Second, then we talked about, okay, well if there's cars going the opposite direction already on the road, then a car shouldn't be allowed to enter because it would crash with them. So there are cars going in the opposite direction. And now we're going to add another condition that's all right. Cars are going in the direction I want to go. They're not going in the opposite direction. They're going in your direction. But there are cars waiting on the opposite side. Waiting on the opposite side. Okay, so let's let's look at an example of what this looks like. So we have a road. And there's a, a couple cars on the road, like maybe there's one here. Maybe there's another one here. And these cars are going this way. Okay. And then a car arrives that wants to go that way. And so we already know that this car that just arrived is going to block because there are cars going in the opposite direction, right? So because of condition 2, it blocks. But now let's say another car gets there and this new car wants to go this way, just like the cars on the road. But this new car is going to have to block because there's a car waiting on the other side, right? So we can't allow that new car to go. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? And then maybe to make the example a little bit clearer, I'll say that this is the first card that got there, then this one, then this one, and car 3 blocked because there were cars going in the opposite direction, and then lastly car 4 got there, and car 4 blocked because there's a car, car 3 is waiting on the other side. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Well, Remember, in the last video, um, we talked about this idea of a gate to block cars from even entering the road. Gate idea. We want to reuse this idea, but basically add more conditions to it than just cars are coming in the opposite direction. Okay? And then just to be very clear on this, you want to have separate gates on the other side, right? Because each side is going to have its own set of conditions depending on direction. So separate gates for either side. Okay, and so what are some of the things that you want to keep track of?
And remember, things that you keep track of, if they're modified by more than one car, or more than one process, which they generally are, these should be shared variables. So before we had the number of cars on the road, and then maybe the direction um, of those cars on the road, or maybe just cars east on the road, cars west on the road, depending on how you wanted to do it. In addition to those, we want to add, we want to keep track of cars waiting, like the number of cars waiting on each side of the road. Again, because of this third condition that if a car is waiting, then in the opposite direction, we shouldn't go. Okay. Um, now, there is an exception to this, to what I just described. Let's talk about it right now. So, again, we have our road. Okay, and then maybe there's a car on the road, and it's going that way. And then there's a new car that gets there, and it wants to go that way, but it blocks because there's cars on the road going in the opposite direction, so by our second condition it'll block. And then there's a third car that gets here, and it wants to go that way. But this car will block because there is a car waiting on the other side. Okay. So, so far, this is just as we described. Now, this car on the road, suppose it exits the road. Once it exits the road, it needs to signal this guy. Right? It should signal this car to let it know that it can enter the road. Because it's now out of the road. And this car should go into the road. And it should go... even though there is a car waiting on the other side. On other side. Right, and it, it should go because it's kind of its turn to go. So it is its turn to go. In spite of there being cars waiting on the other side. Okay. So, how do we keep track of turns? Like, how do we know whose turn it is? Well, there's several ways of doing it. One way of doing it is to keep track of what direction cars are going on the road right now. Right, and so this direction could be either east or west or maybe none for when there are no cars on the road. Um, and then you can use this direction and then maybe flip it every time to kind of like, if east cars are going, you flip it to give west cars permission to go. And um, that bypasses this, this idea of, well, even if there's other cars waiting, I can go because it's my turn. So that's kind of the way of thinking about how to do it. Um, something to remember, though. Only the first car can go. When there's cars waiting on the opposite side. So I'll draw a picture of that to see how that looks like. Again, we have our road. Okay. And then there's a car on the road. It's going that way. Let's call it car one. Then car two gets there. And car two wants to go this way. 
and it blocks because there's cars going in the opposite direction. And then let's assume car 3 gets there. It wants to go that way. It blocks because there's cars waiting on the other side. Okay. But then cars 4 and 5 get there. And they're also waiting um, because car 1 is still on the road. Okay. So, when car 1 finishes, it'll signal these guys um, so that car 2 can enter the road. So car 2 should enter the road, but cars 4 and 5, these two should, should block. They should not enter the road. They need to wait. for car 3 to go before they can enter the road. So it's only one at a time when there's cars waiting on both sides. Now something important to note is that if car 3 wasn't there wasn't there then Cars 2, 4, and 5 could all go after car 1 finishes. Because there's no one waiting on the other side. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is maybe flip. Maybe flip. Um, for turn taking just what I mentioned before about the direction. Alright, and um, basically this is the general idea of how you want to approach cars waiting on the opposite side.